Hey guys, welcome back. It's Cameron from Nick and Cameron. And today I'm out here with Jacob. He's behind the camera today. And this is my 2001 ZR2 uh, GMC Sonoma. So uh, come with me and I'll show you some, some features of it. So just to start off, it's got a 4.3 liter Vortec V6, but it's the ZR2 package. So it's actually got 190 horsepower. Uh, I'm not sure what the foot, uh, foot, uh, foot pounds of uh, torque are, but you know, it's, it's a little bit higher than the standard. Uh, because it's a ZR2, as you can see, it looks lifted, but that's what it comes stock. It has these uh, um, like fender flares uh, on the Chevy S10s. They are dark gray and they contrast. And on the Sonoma, they're the same color. Uh, this truck also has a nice spray-in bed liner uh, and a full, you know, full uh, fold-down uh, bed. The only problem is that this one, uh, the previous owner, previous owner, uh, decided to cut the cables for some reason. Put that back up. Shuts real nice. I got it from Motion Autos in. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> that was a pineco, guys. <laughs> I got it from Motion Autos in Longview, Washington, uh, just this past weekend. Uh, you know how I got it? I rolled my car. If you want a new car, don't roll your car. Don't ever roll your car. It sucks. I got a light concussion and like a big laceration on my arm. Not great. But turns out. 2009 Corollas are worth quite a bit. So, got a nice truck. Uh, this came with the tow package. So if you come down here, you can see that it actually has the wiring harness for a, I think a four pin and a three pin uh, uh, thing. And, oh shit. <laughs> and it also has uh, a standard receiver. So if you come around this way, you'll see that uh, it has some nice meaty tires. Uh, these are brand new. Uh, and on the, we'll start on the uh, passenger side. So the door opens, everything works uh, mechanically. You have a uh, manual windows. It's kind of, miss it's missing the, the it's, it is an old car, so it is missing some stuff. It has manual windows and uh, manual door, door lock. Uh, let's roll down the window. Ugh. Just roll down that way. Uh, so as you can see, you know, nice. It goes all the way down, roll down back up. Uh, if you look inside, it's got a three-point, just standard, um, standard seat belt. And if I roll this all the way forward and lean it forward, you can look at the back and actually has plenty of room uh, for storage. But if you look around this corner, you'll see that it actually has a fold-out seat. We'll we'll take that out and view it from the other side. So take that out and uh, lean this back. And, uh, Let's go around to the other side and I'll show you everything else. It does have some rock chips on the hood, unfortunately. Uh, the guy before me was like, I think like an old, like kind of bigger guy that uh, kind of like me, bigger like me, you know. Um, and uh, I think he used it as a work truck, so I'm not sure what he did, but he smoked. Unfortunately, the inside of the car doesn't smell too bad, but uh, if you look, he put out cigarettes in this tray down here. And that's why it's all like discolored because that's actually like the burnt plastic. And he also put cigarettes out in the carpet. Uh, but you know, it's got the wheel covers and um, you have basically manual seats. So the lever down here to pull it forward and back. Uh, this adjusts your arch support. Uh, and then this is to uh, fold the seat forward. It has a very large wheel. So I'm gonna climb in and I'll show you why I say it's large. So as you can see, uh, with my stand, like regular seating position, the wheel kind of hits my legs. The reason I said I thought it was a, a bigger guy is because the outside of uh, the steering wheel is all worn off from it hitting someone's leg. Down here you have the e-brake and the hood release, and then the e-brake release, uh, and then the clutch pedal, uh, the brake pedal, and the gas. And then this, ha I said it has a clutch pedal, and that's because it has a five-speed manual. Uh, it's, you know, just a regular five speed. Uh, and then it's got an Alpine radio, uh, air conditioning blows cold. And because it's a ZR2, it's got the on the fly four wheel drive. Uh, it's got uh, two high, four high and four low. Everything else works in here. As far as I know, uh, airbags included, uh, I, I think so climb out and I'll show you the third door. So on this side, you have this little handle right here. You want to show that? You just pull that back 
and that releases the door. Uh, and my uh, my rear view mirror kind of fell off uh, before I got it, but you know, there it is. Little storage compartment back here. Uh, this is my seat belt for the driver's side door or for the driver's side uh, seat or yeah, seat. And if you look in the back, you'll see that uh, I have that that jump seat kind of folded down and you can see it's kind of a small leather seat. And uh, back here is a, this is where the actual Alpine radio is. Uh, but you know, it's behind like a little plate. And back here we have the uh, cup holders and underneath that is a jack. Um, now Jacob, would you mind uh, climbing in the back and uh, telling us how that seat, seat feels? At, Oh, pretty small. Keep in mind, I am six foot two, so this is not really what it's designed to be. But, but he is six foot two with his legs basically fully extended. Is um, it somewhat comfortable? It's actually not that bad, but I would not want to be in here for more than like a 15 minute ride. Um, you're kind of pushed up against the back, you push up against the seat, and this seat is all the way back, which it kind of has to be because the front leg room is not very good. Yeah, so uh, overall, I'd give this truck probably a cosmetics wise and um like for how it's all put together i'd probably put it um six and a half out of ten and then for uh functions wise and everything else uh, yeah someone carved an apocalypse on the side of my car <laughs> yeah great uh otherwise i would give it probably a seven and a half maybe an eight out of ten because you know it's got four wheel drive uh it's got a 4.3 liter Vortec V6 engine, which is like the best V6. We're gonna go ahead and pop the hood and uh, I'll give the camera back to Jacob and and uh, he'll show. Yeah, we'll show uh, what it looks like underneath the hood. Take this out, put it there. You can see it's got the nice 4.3 uh, liter V6. It's basic, uh, Vortec, it's basically just a an LS with like two of the cylinders chopped off. It's kind of like the best V6 America has ever made, in my opinion. Uh, before this, they had, I think like a 3.6 or 3.8. Um, and then for the four cylinders, they have an iron dew, uh, which is like, okay. Uh, the main competitors to this is uh, uh, probably the Dodge Dakota Sport and the Ford Ranger XLT or Ford Ranger Edge. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's just about it on this car. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I might do like maybe a nice drive video with this, uh, like off-roading or something sometime in the future. Um, see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe.